All right, let's take a look at changing standard form circle equations into graphing form. So here's what you need to already know to be able to pull this off. You must know how to do this for x squared type quadratic equations. And that would be from completing the square method or by the graph it and find the vertex method. We have recently been practicing this where you have a standard form of a quadratic maybe something that looks like this, x squared plus 6x plus 12 or something like that. And we've been completing the square or we've been graphing it to find the vertex and then changing the format. So let's build up to it. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see if we can do this for a circle type equation. So what we start with is your basic x squared minus 6x minus 10 typical quadratic um, equation. And what you do is you go through and you run the completing the square process is one choice. So completing the square, we talked about how we divide this middle term by 2a. Well, if I was divide this by 2a, the a value here is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. I'm dividing by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I write that down. Then I close the parentheses. I bring down the minus sign. I bring down the fact that we're dealing with x and this term is squared. And then this is what I take right here and I square it times the number out front and I subtract that off. So in this case, that would be minusing 16. So I'm just going to minus 16 all from the 10. That makes minus 26. So y equals this full equation would be x minus 4 squared minus 26. And now I've switched it to graphing form using completing the square. What we do here to do this minusing is we do this. This is the h term. You're taking the h term and squaring it and times it by whatever you have out here for a. And in this case was 1. So it's minusing off h squared a. So you divide by 2a, you minus off h squared a, which you should have learned previously. And we've changed it from standard to graphing. Now, the other method is putting it in your calculator and seeing what happens. So if I put this in my calculator and I typed in x squared minus 8x minus 10, I push graph, and I can see that I have a graph here of a nice you know, parabola with the vertex down here. If I can just find that vertex, then I'm done. So all you got to do that with is the calculate button here above the trace. So I go second trace, go down to where it says um, minimum because I'm picking the minimum point, enter. And then left bound, make sure you're on the left side of the bottom. So this is the bottom right here, the vertex. So now I'm on the left side, push enter. Then it asks for a right boundary. I just go over to the right side and push enter. So I'm booking over here. Doesn't matter as long as I'm on the right side, clearly push enter and then push enter to get by the guess. And you will see a minimum. Mine showed me four point, a whole bunch of zeros. That means it's four. So four comma negative 26 are my H and K. So four comma negative 26, that was my vertex. And if I know the vertex, then all I need to do is steal the a value, which in this case was 1, and write it in graphing form, which would exactly be y equals x minus 4 squared, because we change the x value, we keep this, minus 26. Well, golly gee whiz, those two are a match, so we know that we did it right. Now, on the quiz of the test, I would suggest that you obviously then type that other one in. So if you leave this one on here, and you go ahead and type in the other one, which we got was x minus 4 quantity squared minus 26 and push graph. As long as it's the same exact graph showing up, then you know you did it right. Or you can look at the table and you can see all the table numbers match so you know you did it right. So you should know how to do that for basic quadratics. Well, if we do a little bit more advanced quadratics, you guys, it's the same thing. We're still going to be dividing by 2a and subtracting off h squared a to change it if we do it by hand. Well, in this case, a is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. I'm dividing by 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2, close the parentheses, bring down the plus sign, I'm dealing with the variable x, I have a 4 in front, and this term is squared. So y equals 4 times all this, and then I do 2 squared is 4 times 4 is 16, I'm subtracting off 16, and I get minus 40. There is the graphing form, and I am done. Now, if I was had this in my calculator, I could do the same thing. I could do type it in, push graph, look at the graph, I could do second calc, Go down, hit the minimum, do a left boundary. By the way, that's over here on the left side. You better know your difference between your left and your right. Okay, so I got it to show up over there. Enter, and then I need to get it to show up somewhere on the right-hand side, as long as the blinker or the cursor is over here. Push Enter, push Enter to get by the guess, and now it's blinking at negative 2 comma negative 40. So the vertex was at negative 2 comma negative 40 if I started with that, which would then give me the exact same equation. But the only difference is, remember you change this one, you subtract this one out, you're like, well, what do I do for the a value? You just take the a value. 
you just steal it and put it out front, and then you have it. So y equals 4 times x plus 2 squared minus 40. So you should know how to do those two. The new thing for today is building up to looking at it like this. And this is what a circle looks like. So you may need to pause the video and write this one down so you can follow along with me. Basically what you should notice is you have an x squared x kind of an equation here. You have a y squared and a y kind of an equation here with a plus sign in between equals a number. So we're going to treat these like two separate questions that we already know how to do, which we already know how to do those. So we're going to treat them as two separate ones. So then all I do is I go here and say, oh, I'm going to complete the square on this. I'm going to complete the square on this. So I'm going to divide this by 2a, the a value being 1. So I'm going to divide by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Close that parentheses, bring down the plus sign. We're in the variable x. That's squared. x2 squared is 4. I'm supposed to subtract that from something, but it's like there's nothing here because there's like a plus 0 right there. So I'm going to minus off 4. Hence, I'm going to bring down a minus 4. Then I'm going to bring down the plus sign that is here, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Divide by 2, I get 3. Bring down the minus. Now I'm dealing with the y variable. That term is squared. I need to subtract 9. I need to subtract 9 from this negative 20, which makes negative 29, and that equals 31. This is very close to looking like the circle format that you should be used to. So then what I do is I just add the 4, add the 29 to the other side, add 4, add 29, and I get x plus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 64. And that's kind of the woohoo moment because I now know what I'm doing because this is the center. The center of the circle would be at negative 2, positive 3. And the radius is 64, but remember that's the r squared. So you take the square root of it and the answer is 8. So the circle is centered at negative 2, 3. It has a radius of 8 and this is the equation. This is the equation then in graphing form.